boogie. This is the video, you know what I'm saying, that y'all been waiting for. Especially a certain somebody, you know what I'm saying, homies, you know what I'm saying, represent for the chop and screw. So uh I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you. Uh an incident came up on here, uh where I made a comment on uh Ocho's video, Ocho, one of Ocho's response videos, and I asked a question, I was like, why don't guys go down on women, and I said I knew the answer, and then I had a person hit me at, hit me back with a, a comment on my page, they were like, uh, so you think you know what it is, because I, I definitely, I, I never do it, I, I never would, if you give me a reason to, you know, I might take into consideration, and I wouldn't even say that you should take this in consideration but it's it's health hazardous it's <laughs> environmentally not friendly uh, cleansiness should be involved at all times and this just might make you check yourself every every now and then on if you clean or not if you you know what I'm saying you're really sanitary because this is this right here is gonna blow your mind uh, I say Back in the twelfth grade, you know what I'm saying, me and me and my homies, you know what I'm saying, a couple girls sitting at this table, we all had a conversation about sex and whatnot. And, you know, I came up, I asked a question, I was like, So, is it okay if a girl goes down on the guy, but why isn't it okay that a guy goes down on the girl and then all the dudes, you know what I'm saying, you know how the fellas start chilling, Oh shit, man, I, I never do that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That shit nasty, man. They can suck me off anytime, but uh I had to make him come to a realization. And it just start shit. I just start building up, man. I just start throwing in, and I was like, you know, my cousin. He 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 says he'd never do it. Maybe to his wife, maybe once. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I don't, he said he'd never do it. So I had to make him come to a realization, man. Like when you get involved with somebody, relationships, there's gonna be certain things that you ain't gonna want to do that you're gonna have to do. You know what I'm saying? So you might as well warm up to it now and get yourself prepared so that when you get to that stage, you know what I'm saying, you know what you're doing. <laughs> but um, here's the reason why a guy should, and maybe shouldn't, this might not even be a good reason, but here's the reason why a guy should go down a girl at least once. Because this is some real foul shit, I'm telling you. This is foul. Okay. All right. Say, for instance, right, you say... You won't go down on a girl because you you kiss your mom every morning. You give your mom a kiss on the cheek every morning before you leave out. Or, you know, you give your, your grandma a kiss, you know, or your sister or your auntie. Okay, that's that's fine. You know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You you, you got your you got your morals. You know, you you know you, you show respect to your family. You know, that's cool and everything. Okay, but check this out, right? Say, for instance, there's a certain material that we all use on a daily basis but this material doesn't equal out the same you can stretch it out doesn't matter how many different kinds you get it, it just don't work out all the time for you all right say for instance right you going to the bathroom and you got to do number two now not number one number two yeah i, I think y'all know what i'm about to go here with this one uh you're going to do number two and you got to use toilet paper. Now, not all toilet papers, man, out there, man, are equal, man, or similar. You know what I'm saying? So, sometimes you got to make sure you got to pick out the right one from the store, man. But uh, you're going to do number two. You know what I'm saying? You sit down there reading your little magazine and whatnot. Then it's time for you, you know what I'm saying? Wipe your ass. All right? So, you go and roll, go and roll the toilet paper up. And let's just say you might have that one day, you know... Well, you may not be in a rush, but you know what I'm saying? You're going to make sure you get all that shit cleaned up. All right? You go and roll that toilet paper around your hand, and when you go and wipe your ass, you find out it's too late that you ain't roll up enough toilet paper around your hand, and your finger slipped through that goddamn toilet paper in your ass, and your hand is full of shit. <laughs> What's the first thing that come to mind for you to do? Yeah clean it up right go and wash it and clean that shit up or get a piece of toilet paper and wipe that shit off right okay so you go ahead and do that get done you know what i'm saying cleansing your ass you know flush the toilet go wash your hands with some soap and whatnot 
and maybe, just maybe, this might be around the time that you go and have dinner or something, or dinner's ready, lunch is prepared, you know, breakfast, whatever. Whatever time of the day that you did it and this happened, this occurred. You got done washing your hands with the soap or whatnot, and somebody says, dinner's ready, lunch is ready, whatever. Get ready to go and eat, everything look good. And let's say, for instance, one of the foods you got might be a finger food, okay? Or you just so happen to, there'd be like some sauce or something on the side that you can use with that food. You know, whatever the case may be, you go and eat, and you go and get some of that, the rest of the little food or whatever, little sauce on your hands. Now, in most cases, people ain't going to use no napkins. So what is they going to do? Yeah, they're going to go ahead and lick their fingers, right? Now, just two, three minutes ago, your hand was chucked full of shit because the toilet paper that you wrapped around it <laughs> didn't do your ass no justice. So that bitch slipped right through the toilet paper. Now, you got to be thinking in the back of your mind like, damn, man, like I just licked my fingers. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just got done licking my fingers. Like, two minutes ago, it was chock full of shit. But you probably ain't even thinking about that because the food's so goddamn good. After you get done eating, you might give your whoever prepared it, your mom, your grandma, a kiss on the cheeks. And then it might hit you later on, like, damn. But, I don't know, maybe that might not be a reason, you know what I'm saying, that you go down on a girl. But, that's some real nasty shit. <laughs> Even if you did, you know, clean your hands from that shit with the soap afterwards after you got done wiping your ass out and washing your hands. The fact of the matter is, that a couple minutes ago, you was taking a shit, and that toilet paper, you ain't wrapped enough around your hand, and that bitch slipped through. You know what I'm saying? And don't say it's just me, because I know it doesn't happen to everybody. You know, Scott's is pretty much one of the best reliable sources of toilet paper you can use. Fuck that Charmin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That quilted shit. Fuck all that other stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Charmin just don't do your ass no justice. You know, it's soft and everything, but that shit don't last for shit. <laughs> and they got damn material. It's something serious. So next time you out, man, you know, just check. Check goddamn toilet paper you buy. <laughs> but this goes out to homie, though, that was wondering what it was. And, you know, it, it works to say it's not just for guys, too, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you, because it happens to women. Women don't think y'all out of the blue yet, because I got something special for y'all. But uh, I'm going to wait just a little bit longer to see what kind of response I get from this video. Uh, I don't care if you do agree. I don't care if you don't agree. If you do agree, you know what I'm saying, then, you know, you might have a little laughter about this because you might have happened to you, you know what I'm saying, last week or something like that. I know it has happened to me in a long while, but, you know, it's happened, goddamn. And once I was telling all my friends this, you know, everybody started laughing. It was like, yeah, true, true, this shit happened to me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They start confessing them, but then it was like, that still wouldn't give me no reason to go down the girl. I can break it down in so many ways, but I only have so much time. So, y'all hit me back with this. Uh, no turning back. She got me.